Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sparketh YouTube channel. It's Maria and for today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to make some bubble art using some dish soap. So I hope you all enjoy. So to start off, the first material I have is Liquitex paint in bright aqua green. And then I have Blick acrylic paint in phthalo blue. Next I have again Liquitex acrylic paint in brilliant blue. Then I have a straw and some paper bowls and some dish soap. Then to begin my first step, I roughly measured about two tablespoons of paint to about two tablespoons of soap. And then I put a little bit of water just to make it um, more liquidy, but I, there's not really super specific measurements. But what I found when I was doing this is that if you put uh, more paint in the water and soap mixture, the bubbles come out a bit darker. So as I'm going along, I'm adding more paint to the mixture so that the bubbles come out more pigmented. So as you can see on my first try, the bubbles are very light. Um, so I just keep going at it and trying it. But yeah, basically all this is is you mix um, dish soap, paint, and some water. And then you get a straw and you blow bubbles into it. And then you just tap your canvas or your paper onto the bubbles. And then the pattern of the bubbles transfers onto the surface. So it's pretty cool. Um, right now I'm starting off with the lightest blue that I have. And I'm just gonna go from light to dark because if you go from dark to light you're not gonna see the um, lighter colored bubbles as well so yeah and then since I'm using all blues um, I just reused the same bowl um, I didn't I had multiple bowls but I found since I'm using blues um, just reusing the same bowl should work just fine and right now I'm continuing to tap my canvas onto the bowls and the blue that I'm using right now um, was the mid blue which was the brilliant blue and I was still finding it to be a little too light so I went ahead and added the phthalo blue to it to kind of darken it up and give it some more variation um, but yeah I'm just <laughs> mixing making sure all the paint is evenly um, distributed and <laughs> for this particular project I haven't done it in a while I did it a few times um, when I used to work at an after-school program with my kinder and first grade students and it was really fun they really liked it and this project is like super super simple and easy but um, I would really recommend um, if a small child is gonna do this I would highly suggest using tempera paints just because they're non-toxic but yeah the safer option <laughs> But anyways, here is the finished result, and it came out pretty cool, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out www.sparketh.com for full online art courses where kids and teens can learn from home.
Bye.